Welcome to HS Academy. In today's video, we are going to learn about Loto and Lototo. Okay, guys. So first of all, let's focus on Loto. Uh, Loto means lockout and tagout, guys. What is that? Lockout and tagout. Basically, when we go to the Loto, actually these are two separate components. Low is different. To is different. Okay. Low means lockout. To means tagout. So these two are different. When these two lockout and tag out got combined they will form one procedure what is that procedure they will form one procedure so what is the purpose of that procedure why we are implementing this particular procedure is to prevent accidental energization of a particular plant machinery and equipment for example just think that it is one of the plant machinery okay and one of the worker of your company is working inside that now as a safety officer or as a safety engineer you will not think that this particular machinery will energize will work automatically without your permission when a person is carrying out any work okay so to prevent that accidental energization energization in the sense energy is coming in that machinery it may be electrical hydraulic pneumatic any sort of energy energy should not be come without our permission in that machinery so to avoid that accidental energization of the machinery or plant equipment we basically go for Loto procedure or low to procedure okay so that is the purpose of that now let's understand what is low and what is low separately okay so low means lockout as you know that lockout is a guys separate physical restraint device what is that separate physical restraint device it means you know lock no in, in your homes when you are going outside you need to put one physical lock so that particular lock is called as lock, lockout here okay so lock, low is a physical restraint device PRD what is that physical restraint device what is the purpose of using that is the purpose of using lockout device is to prevent the energization it means a person who is approaching to a particular control system should not should not be able to start that okay if a lock is there means you cannot open any home store no so that's why we are putting the lock okay and second one when we come to the toe that is your tag out what is that tag out now tag out means what guys tag out means it's a physical uh, basically you can tell it's a piece of paper or piece of cardboard which is basically giving information or warning or basic any information to a person those who are going to approach those who are going to start any control system that stop work is going on should not start that okay if till now if it is an intentional deliberate it means some one person want to start that anyhow then this particular lock will prevent that it means you can tell it's a two layer of protection what is that two layers of protection this one is first this one is second generally when we talk about loto no so this tag out is not very much useful because people have the tendency that to ignore that warning signs to ignore these tags so at that time to avoid the accidental energization of a particular plant and machinery this particular lock will help us okay so guys this is the meaning of loto okay now when we come to the loto to i will explain you first of all let's try to understand what are the different steps that is available in a loto procedure as i told you when low and to both are getting combined it means when they got mixed they will form one procedure which is widely accepted in the industries so let's understand how this particular work okay so first of all the loto procedure is done by a authorized person it means everyone cannot do a loto you must have proper understanding you must know how to do it okay afterwards one person will be selected that is called a loto authorized person one person you have selected okay so first of all this particular person have to identify the sources of energy for example a machine nowadays a machine is running by electricity so what is the source of energy here that electricity you need to off the mains you need to off the electrical energy supply there okay so this is the energy source so after the identification of energy source he need to inform to the relevant parties it means if you are turning off that machinery somebody is going to be affected now so you need to inform that previously for how much time you are going to stop that uh, what is the purpose of that how much how long it will take to re-energize that okay so these things you need to do this is second step when we come to the third step that is called that is called actual stopping of the machinery in a normal operation it means suddenly you don't need to stop normally you need to stop your machinery or plant equipment which is gone under the loto procedure normally once you have stopped after that you can put your low and tow device there okay so that is the normal procedure so after completion of your work you can just do the vice versa of that means again remove the procedure start the machinery and inform the personnel so that is the loto procedure now guys when we come to the loto toe that is pretty much similar to that actually only one element is extra okay lock out tag out and try out 
what is it this is try out this is tag out and this is lockout so try out in the sense guys try out means once you have implemented the lockout procedure lockout and tag out procedure you need to just check it whether it is effective or not okay for example generally when we are going outside our home what we do we generally put one lock there okay after putting the lock generally one small doubt we have in our mind like uh, somebody can open that particular lock or not so just uh, we will stitch that as well as we will try to open that whether it will open or not so the same thing you need to do here you just need to try to start that particular machinery which have undergone under the loader procedure okay so that particular element will be called as try out okay so and uh, basically before starting uh, b your work after implementing the loader procedure just, just try to implement that element that is your tryout okay so it will verify that your loto is effective or not whether your loto is effective or not so guys this is about the loto procedure i hope you understand uh, that it is a very basic procedure generally people have created six to seven steps you can follow that also otherwise this is a simple procedure that we need to follow in loto okay so this is the end of the videos guys if you like this video you can subscribe to the channel and share can uh, share this video as well as if you have any doubt you can put them in comment box i will answer you as soon as possible so thank you for watching meet you in the next video till then take care